Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at question 966, uh, vowel spell checker. The way we'll be approaching this problem is by using a hash set and two hash maps. Uh, so let's jump right in. The first thing that we need to do is to have a set that has um, all of the words that are given to us in the word list. So let's just do that. We have a string and let's just call it words, which would be equal to a new hash set. And then you're taking in um, all of the the strings that you have in the word list string array. So arrays that as list, and you're providing word list as an input for that. And the reason why you're doing that is because if the uh, the string that's uh, given in the queries is the same as the one in the word list you would just add uh, the same string and return it as is in the query so that's the reason why you need to have a hash set so that the runtime for that particular operation is of one instead of going iterating through all of the strings in the word list the next thing you need to do is is you need to have two hash sets one would take care all of all of the caps and the other one would take care of all of the uh, the vowel cases that you see right here um so let's just do that we will first initialize the hash set for the vowels and do the same for caps perfect all right so right after you have all of the strings that you need to go over in the word list and what are we doing right after uh, we need to create two we need to transform the the word that we're looking at into two different uh, strings the first thing is lower which would take the particular uh, word that you're looking at and just get the lowercase for that and the other one is where you just like the vowel word, where you replace all of the vowels in the word that's given to us with another like uh, symbol so that it's, it's easier to compare. So you would just say take that what you have, replace all of the vowels, so that's A E I O U, with let's say um, a star or um, an asterisk. Right. So once you have those two strings, uh, you would take the caps um, hash set and you would say put if absent. And the reason why we are doing put if absent is because if something exists um, in the word list earlier, that takes priority um, as one of the requirements for the program uh, for the problem. So a uh, caps dot put if absent is lower, and then you would put i. And you would do the same for the the vowels uh, hash map as well. Perfect. So now that we have the setup, let's actually solve the problem. Um, so you'd go through all of the all of the words in the queries array. So. And you increment i and then the first thing you need to check is that hey if the if the word that we're looking at actually exists in this hash set you wouldn't change the query at all you just keep it as is and continue to the next uh string so that's the first thing you'll check so if words that contains um queries of i you would just say hey you know what keep it as is just continue If that's not the case, you will check first for caps. So if caps dot contains, oh, but you need to get these strings first. You need to be able to transform that to look for the key. Um, and this will be replaced by this. Um, yeah, okay, cool. So if caps that contains a key lower, You would just say queries of i would be equal to uh, k 
caps dot get uh, caps or get lower yeah and if that's not the case you would check in the vowels hash map but instead of looking for the lower uh, string you're looking for the vowel string and if that exists you get the corresponding value and if that doesn't work either you would just initialize as an empty string um, yeah Perfect. So once that is done, you would just want to return the queries array. Perfect. So let's quickly run this and see if it's okay. Hmm. Oh right, this is be this will be a hash map. Okay, let's quickly compile this. Mm -hmm. Right, so it's, this is still giving a problem. Uh, oh, right here. Still putting the lower, you'd put the vowel. Okay, let's see. Fingers crossed. All right, so the first thing is okay. Everything else is okay as well. Awesome. Um, so that's the solution for this problem. Let's quickly talk about the space and time complexity. The time complexity of the entire solution is of n, since we have one right here, a one for loop right here that goes through all of the, the words in the word list, and the second one would be of n, all of the queries. Uh, so that would be linear time. And then the space complexity would also be of n since we're creating the words, uh, hash set, and the hash map for caps and vowels. Right. So if there are any questions about this problem, please let me know in the comments below. And please don't forget to subscribe. I really, really appreciate that. See you all in the next video. Peace.